Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my studio. This is Paint with Lovejoy. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're here for the first time, thank you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and check out my other videos. If you're here for a second or third or fourth painting, thank you so much for coming back and I look forward to seeing what you guys paint. So today's video is perfect for my first time painters. These are great videos to just kind of get you comfortable with the brush, comfortable with mixing your paint, and the kind of the way these are set up, you're going to do kind of a crazy abstract background. You are welcome to switch out colors if you want. Um, and then we'll use black paint and put a silhouette design on there. Um, and that kind of solidifies your composition. So again, this is excellent practice just to get comfortable with the process of painting and perfect for my first time and beginner painters. If you want to do a different silhouette design, um, just Google uh, the subject matter and silhouette of what do you want to do and feel free to switch it up and make the painting your own. Use this as just kind of a, a guideline, a step-by-step -step of what to do. Um, with that being said, in the description box below, you're going to see a link to a supply kit and in that supply kit is everything that you need to grab um, materials, paints, brushes, canvas for this particular painting. So check out the supply kit, grab the materials that you need, and then pick up the video again. With practice, you get better and more comfortable. So keep on finding ways to have a creative outlet on a monthly basis. Your future self will be very grateful that you did. So uh, I think it's enough talking. Let's go ahead and get started painting. All right, guys, so for this painting, it's perfect for first time painters. We're gonna take it in two stages. We're gonna paint our background and I want you to follow along with each of the colors and the shapes that I make. And then we're gonna paint our silhouette design. And make sure you take your progress photos and pause the video at any time that you need to. So here we're taking white and yellow, making a lemony yellow, and we're gonna fill the bottom portion of the canvas on, um, probably about halfway. And if you're using student grade paint, please apply it rather generously, rather thick. This will help your blending. Now we're gonna grab that direct yellow, slap it on top, just again, observing the place of where I put these. Now we're adding some orange to our yellow and white mixture. This makes kind of for that light pastel orange. Again, observe where I'm placing it on the canvas and just kind of mimic that to the best of your ability. If you wanna change anything up, you do have full permission to do that, so go for it. All right, remember to breathe, and we're gonna take clean our brush really good and go to light blue. So that's white with a little bit of blue. We're gonna fill in the top portion of the canvas, and I do want you to be very careful as you are bringing this color down towards the orange. You don't wanna actually overlap this color all too much, um, especially while both paint set colors are wet. So as you come close to it, just go a little more controlled with your brush strokes, do a little bit of the blending. It may cross over a little bit, but it doesn't have to be a whole lot. So now we're making a medium blue and placing it right on top of that light blue because it is still wet. This is called wet on wet blending. Now I am moving down to a smaller brush. We're gonna kind of just add a little bit more intensity to the sunset. So adding more orange to that yellow, orange, and white mixture. And here, trust your instincts. If you feel like putting this color somewhere I do not put it, go ahead and do that for your background. Now I do want you to fully let the background dry before you move into doing the silhouette. And with the silhouette, um, we're gonna put our ground on here, and it can be any shape. It can be flat or a little bit of a curve, or maybe there's rocks on there. Um, totally your call. Uh, what type of landscape you want to put on here. Now you are going to fill that whole space in and be again generous with the amount of black paint that you're putting on there so that way it's nice and opaque and you can't see the color from underneath. All right so now we're going to move down to the pointy brush and I want you to use light pressure with the brush. Treat your brush kind of like a pencil and pause the video as you need to and just observe each of these shapes. And once I'm done drawing each of these shapes, then I will fill it in 
with black paint. So you can even pause it at the end to see how all the shapes fit together. Now I do recommend that you practice this with your paintbrush on a scrap sheet of paper multiple times before you do it on your canvas. It's something nice to do while you're um, waiting for your background to dry. And you will notice that each one will be a little bit different. Each elephant might have a slightly different personality. That's completely okay. And I want you to embrace the personality of each one of your elephants. Um, it's just part of life and you may be a little more nervous when you move over to do the canvas. That's okay. Um, painting is more about practice and getting comfortable with your tools. So the more that you practice painting, the more you practice um, this line drawing of the elephant, the easier it gets. And you'll probably even notice that after you draw this and paint this, you might actually doodle it when you have a pencil in your hand and maybe a piece of paper in front of you and you're you know, sitting there waiting. Um, some, it's, it's interesting how those things do kind of creep into our subconscious and our daily life. So uh, try to notice that in yours. Again, as we move through this, remember to breathe. If your um, hand and brush are kind of shaky as you are doing your lines, that means you're holding your breath. So if you exhale as you touch the brush to the canvas, that's going to make it a little bit easier for you. Be kind to yourself. You're doing a great job. I'm really proud of you for painting at home. It does take a lot of courage. And our hardest critic is usually ourself. So be kind to yourself. All right, so pause that video if you need to, to just kind of um, check out all the shapes and how they work together. And then we're gonna go in with black paint and fill all that in. Remember, it's a silhouette. It does not have to be perfect as long as it's in the general range of an elephant. Um, the brain is going to fill in the details that it is an elephant. If you have a silhouette image of something else or of a different element, elephant, <laughs> feel free to use that for your design. And you can go back to the pointy brush and kind of clean up the perimeter. We're going to add a tail here. Um, add any more paint uh, if you can see the background shining through, but do whatever you need to. Uh, adjust this and make this painting your own. I will be adding some flecks of grass and even just kind of reshaping that horizon line. Maybe there's some rocks on the ground. Uh, maybe there's some birds in the sky. Maybe there's a baby little elephant. Maybe there's a tree. Um, whatever you feel like adding. All right, and no matter what you do with your painting, please send me pictures of it. Email those to me and the email will be in the description box below. And above all else, please keep painting. Try to find creative outlets on a regular basis. Here for this brush stroke, I'm actually using that middle flat brush and the bristles are still spread apart from the last application. Um, and it just kind of creates this great kind of grass wispy effect. You can do this also with the pointy brush. Um, and if you want birds in the sky, I always put, I think, three of them on here. I try to keep them in odd numbers. And again, anything else you want to add. So great job. Thanks so much for painting today. And I look forward to painting with you in the future. Have a great day. Cheers. Hey guys, I hope your paintings turned out really nice and I hope you feel a little more relaxed now at the end of painting compared to when you started. I'm really, really, really proud of you for painting at home. So uh, good job. Don't wait too long to do another painting and just kind of hone in the skills that you learned today. It will be more comfortable um, the next time that you go to paint. As you're uploading your pictures to social media, please tag me in those photos, paint with lovejoy, or email them to me, paintwithlovejoy at gmail.com. Um, I'm a fully solo production here, so seeing your feedback, hearing your comments, um, really kind of gives me motivation to keep making these videos, and it is growing really, really nicely. Um, when you are ready, I do have something that you can kind of uh, level up to. So I want you to check out my main website, paintwithlovejoy.com, and I feature my Paint Your Pet class, and it is geared towards first time and beginner painters. So check that out when you're ready to kind of take the next level of painting at home. 
If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, things that you would like me to paint in the future, please leave a comment below. I do my best to respond to all of those pretty quickly. And like I said earlier, your feedback is definitely keeping me uh, going and keeping me make more videos. So it is your support that's making this happen. Um, so yeah, thanks again for taking time out of your day to paint with me. I'm honored, truly grateful that uh, you're finding a lot of help in these videos and enjoying the process of painting. So until next time, cheers.